Hi, my name is Jason Hoffman, owner of 203 Pet Service, and this is my dog Max. In my last video, Grooming a Spinoni, I got a lot of questions from people about how do you groom your Spinoni's head, face, eyes, and beard. So today, we're going to focus on that. If you want any information about any of the tools or stones that I use, if you look at the last video that I did, I go into that in, in some pretty good detail. So, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with the hair and I'm just going to start to strip. And when you do this, it's really important that we not get his eyebrows. We'll do that at a later time. Right now, all I'm doing is I'm just stripping out this hair and I'm just trying to get it right down and blend it right into the back of the neck. I'm just going to take my comb as I go through here and I'm just going to try to move the hair in the direction it's supposed to go uh, just so that way I can get a better idea of where I am. Just trying to shape and make the head take a little bit of shape so that way uh, I don't go too 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 far in any direction and we want to go when we go from the side we kind of want to go from the eye down into the cheek we don't want to go into the into the beard so now I've kind of got the side of his the back of his head done or at least this side of the back of his head so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to go down from the eyebrow down to the cheek and really what I'm trying to do is I'm just I'm just trying to shape When you're doing the eyebrows, uh, you kind of want to see where they are, and Max's eyebrows are really long. Uh, you can finger pluck if you like. In here, his fan, which is his hair right here, is there too. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting his eyebrows, and I just want to thin these out. Uh, you, can, you can use a stone, but you just want to be careful. You don't want to be too aggressive because we're supposed to have eyebrows on these dogs. Right now, I'm just still focusing on the eyebrows and the fan, and I'm just trying to make sure that I shape them, and I'm just trying to take little bits off so I don't ruin the look, but just kind of thin out some of this hair here. As I do these eyebrows and the fan, which is going to make it so this guy can see where he's going, my mother-in-law is probably going to be thrilled that she'll actually get to see Max's eyes. And more importantly, he'll be able to see where he's going. We've kind of got his eyebrows done. We've done his fan. And as we kind of go through the rest of the face, um, we always kind of, we always want to kind of come back to what we started at, just so that way everything looks even. Um, so I'm going to start to attack his ears a little bit, and then uh, we'll, finish off with his beard and I like to finish off with a beard because the beard is probably one of the more sensitive areas so we'll get as much as we can get with some of this other stuff and and then we'll we'll move on to the beard so with the ears there's a couple of camps some people like to leave the hair on the ears and some people like to uh, strip them down so uh, I'm going to strip them down because I like it better when they're stripped down uh, personally. So we're going to try to get all of these fringy hairs to be, uh, we're going we're to strip those down. And then we'll get a little more on the inside of the ears as well. And then we'll uh, end off with the beard. So let's get started on that. So Max. So to get started with that, I'm just going to take my blade and we're just going to start to strip down the ears. What I've done now is I've gone all the way down this ear and I've gotten most of the hair, the thick hair, off of the ear flap. And now it's just, there's this more frilly hair where the, where the kind of hair goes beyond the leather of the ear. And I'm going to just go and start stripping that down. I can either use my stone or my knife. And what I do is I just kind of follow, I follow the, the ear leather 
and I just go just right around and then that makes the ear flap nice and clean. Now that I've gotten the outside of the ear done, now I'm going to flip the ear flap over and I'm going to start to get the inside of the ear. And I'm just going to get these feathers here. If you get rid of the hair as we get closer to the ear canal, it just allows a little more airflow to get into the ear. And I think it just keeps the ear cleaner and healthier. You're less likely to get ear infections. So I'm going to start to get the inside of the ears. And that'll also help the ears lie flat. Spinoni owners know that their beard can be a source of a lot of drool, especially at the water bowl and slobber. So we want to try to just kind of thin his beard out a little bit, but we want to make sure we still maintain the beard. And it's kind of a sensitive area for him. So that's one of the reasons why we saved that for last. And uh, we just want to thin it out a little bit. And one other thing that I want to, know to want you guys to know is that if you are stripping in here, um, there are sometimes whiskers in there and if you start to to try to strip those out that's not going to be very comfortable so just be aware that there are some whiskers hidden in that beard when we do the beard we're just going to go and get right in here and then i want to focus a lot more on his chin because the chin is where the drool ends up so we're going to give his face a little bit of a face wipe just to try to dry it off if he was a little drooly and then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go through and this is a nice way to just kind of comb a little bit of it out and just get some of that hair. This is just going to save us some time. I'm just going to get a little bit of the side. I'm not going crazy because we want the beard there, but I'm just going to try to get a little bit of the, a little bit of the longer hairs. Not a whole lot. I'm just trying to do a little bit. Um, remember that we got uh, some of it trimmed down with the Mars King Coat. And I think that that's really all that we need to do for his beard. We've tried to go and strip the underside of Max's beard, and this is one of the areas where it's really sensitive and a lot of dogs uh, just don't want to have that part of their body messed with. And when that happens, sometimes we have to resort to the thinning shears. And I know I, I've told everyone that I hate using scissors on a Spinoni, but in this case, it's just the lesser of two evils. So I'm just gonna raise his head a little bit. And I'm gonna be careful not to cut anything I don't want. And I'm just gonna thin out the underside of his beard. All right, so we're basically wrapped up here. And just to recap quickly. So what we did was we started off with the head uh, and we kind of did the head and then we kind of blended that back into the neck. Uh, we uh, tightened up his eyebrows. We did his ears, both outside and inside. Uh, then we focused on the cheek going down, just trying to blend that down. We left his beard nice, big and fluffy. Uh, and then we had to, unfortunately, did have to trim uh, the underside of his chin with trimming shears. And, mix, stay. And, um, and that's that. So it took a couple hours to get this done. Um, they always say little and often, but uh, if you do it when they're really bad, like he was in the beginning, uh, it's a lot of work. Thank you very much for watching this video. It would be a big help to me if you would like and subscribe and comment in YouTube. Um, that really helps me to help make videos for you guys. Thanks a lot.